So in this video I'm going to explain how we've created this set of alternating columns where we have three columns in the first row, then two columns, then three again, and this pattern just repeats for however many items we've got in the grid. Um, this technique uses the nth of child formula here, which we'll look at in a bit more detail shortly. And I'm going to show you how to do this in Microthema, which is a WordPress CSS editor, to, uh, to do it visually um, and using some of the WYSIWYG controls for CSS Grid. So we start off by creating a selector for the container element that holds all of these boxes here. I'll call this Grid Container. And then create that selector. So the first thing we do is we just set the uh, size of the grid, and I'm going to set it to uh, six columns, so that because six is divisible by both two and three, so we can have rows of three and two. Uh, and I'll also just add a little gap, so it's a bit easier to see uh, when we do add the rows with different size columns. So uh, now we can just create a selector to set the default width of each item um, to a third. So to do that, I click uh, on this first box here, and then I'm going to target all 18. I'm just going to use a slightly uh, less uh, spe specific selector, and we'll just call this all grid items. All grid items. There we go. Uh, then I'm going to create a, another selector, which just selectively... Oh wait, I haven't actually set the, uh, the width. Uh, so let's do... let's go to the item options, and I'm going to set them all to span 2. So what that does is basically means that it spans... each, each item spans 2 grid tracks, uh, which makes means all, we've got a 3 by um, 3 columns all of the rows. And then with another selector, I'm going to selectively target the 4th and 5th and 9th and 10th using nth formulas. So to start with, what we do is we create um, a selector that targets, uh, we, we sort of zero in on all of them. Um, so I'm just using a general selector like we had before. Uh, but then we're going to use an nth child formula uh, to be a bit more specific about which items we're interested in. So if I click 5n, what that does is it, it targets the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, etc. And I'm just going to copy that here because we're going to create a selector, a comma, se comma separated selector that uh, uses two nth formulas. So the second formula we're going to use is uh, just 5n minus 1. And what that does is it, instead of targeting the 5th, it's the 5th minus 1, 9, etc., 4. 14. Uh, so now I'll join those two selectors with a comma and then paste it in and now you can see we've got all of our um, selective items highlighted. So we can, I'm going to give this a better label and I'll say every, oops, every fourth and fifth item and create a selector for that. And then we can um, do what we did before where we go to the item controls and this time we'll say span 3 and so now we've got this row which targets uh, spans 3 out of 6 so it's half of the, the grid um, column areas and this will just repeat no matter how many items you've got so that can be a good little time saver uh, yeah I hope that helps